to remember you going after blues and you had a bit of trepidation about it. You weren't sure, or was it kind of after you weren't sure about catching them? Because obviously sharks are such incredible, beautiful animals and there is some flack from people for angling in general, but particularly with these bigger species. So uh, I know for a lot of these shark fishermen, they, they do it and then they tag them. So it's not just for sport, is it? There's, there is a conservation benefit to why some people do this. Yeah, totally. Um, they would argue that, again, getting back to the angel shark question around the coast of Wales, you can't get good visual IDs of these animals without catching them. So the primary way of tagging sharks and recording their behaviour and monitoring their health is to catch them on hook and line. We worked with a... Um, we worked with her so <laughs> <laughs> my toddler's got to put her shoes on again she's going absolutely mad outside um, <laughs> the primary way of 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 recording those shark species is to is to catch them on hook and line and then tag them so we had a shark tagger on one of the boats that i was on uh, my way too which is owned by gethin who's based in north wales and um it was an amazing day out and you know, we spent the whole time uh, tagging any of the sharks we had. We didn't catch anything, you know, particularly amazing. But yeah, the big bull husks that we brought over, they were all tagged. Um, Warby Shark Savers, if you want to check out um, the woman that does that work. She's amazing. She's got a great Instagram. So give that a look. So yeah, you know, like that is the primary way of IDing them. Um, however, obviously there is a sporting element to it. You know, it, it would be a lie to say that there isn't. You know, it's not just anglers going out and doing it for the sake of conservation and science. There, there is a thrill amongst, um, you know, kind of like the bigger game fishermen um, in the sport that like catching those big fish species. They like the bite and, you know, they like to see them slip the hook out and let them go free. Personally speaking, from what I saw, like I certainly didn't see any ill effects to the sharks afterwards you know um i doubt they really probably even particularly feel the hooks even in their mouth given what they eat in the wild you know big bony males eating big bony specimens literally just crushing them you know we've had a lot of records of catching two three uh, catching the same fish twice or even three times in a day but for me personally like I'd never shark fish before. I caught shark before, but never deliberately targeting them. Um, I probably wouldn't do it again. Uh, I've got nothing against people that go out and shark fish. This is just, you know, me personally. Um, I didn't love it as much as I love going out and probably having a multi-species, you know, course fishing day, one of those days of wonder. You know, you're going out on a boat, you know, you're baiting big hooks, big baits, you're fishing for, you know, a very sort of narrow fish species you're chumming the water heavily you're very much reliant on the skills of the captain that takes you out and they are undoubtedly very skilled and I, you know i don't want to put people off or, or kind of say i'm holier than thou it's just not my not my personal cup of tea and i think as well if i am being honest um sharks are an endangered species again i'm this is just my personal opinions i don't want to you know give anyone a hammer in you know, like, I don't know. I know, I know I what you mean. I mean, I probably feel like, I, you know, if, if you can, then you should just let them be. But I'm, I, I did it. I had a great time, but it was probably a one-off experience for me. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't bemoan anybody going out there and shark fishing. There's some amazing shark fishing skippers in this country in Wales. And, you know, they're amazing guys to go and spend a day with. But yeah. you know, that's just me, you know? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I mean, I, I've never really been into the whole big game thing, to be honest with you. I, I've always enjoyed, I think it's that connection. So I like to pick the fish up, release it, have a good look at it. Whereas with a shark, for the really big ones, you're not really picking them up. They're at the side of the boat. and it's, sure, I've, exactly. I've never I've never done it. It's not particularly appealed to me. Um, I understand, you know, for the conservation, like you mentioned, you know, I don't see a problem with that. And 